Hey everyone, Felipe here. Welcome to another Tower of Saviors card review video. This video, I'll be taking a look at one of the challenge stage cards from the Saint Seiya collaboration seal, Ares Shion Surplus. It's going to be a dark human card with a CD5 skill and the following effect. For one round, human attack increases by 1.5, and attacks of saints increases by 1.5 additionally. Runestones can also be dissolved by grouping them in groups of three or more of them, which means that you can dissolve them in L shapes as long as it's a group of three. At the end of the round, saints in the team except the character will get a skill CD reduction of minus one and EP plus one if they are switched. In my opinion, this card is going to be pretty useful. In terms of utility, it's not that great, but it will be a booster card um, for saints. Uh, for Saints teams. CD5 is going to make it a pretty fast skill to activate and it does give you that 1.5 attack boost and an, and an additional 1.5 attack boost for Saints which makes it a pretty good booster cards if you are running a Saints team. Additionally, you do get that skill cooldown reduction which will allow your other Saints to launch their skills faster and also allow you to kill enemies faster depending on the skills you activate. And this in certain stages can save your skin because like some skills need to be activated in order to deal with really annoying enemy shields or really annoying enemy skills. Uh, the third effect is also going to be a icing on the cake in my opinion. Being able to dissolve runes in groups of three or more allows you to gives you more flexibility when you're stacking your board because you don't have to stick to the usual three um, groups of three, like straight runs, but you can also do weird shapes and still benefit from higher combos and also like clear more of your board that way. So in my opinion, the third effect will allow you to get more combos, get more damage. And um, this is not first batch only, so Skydrop will also benefit from this three or more grouping. So overall, you will end up with a pretty good damage output for that one round. And at CD5, this skill goes pretty fast. So in my opinion, this card is going to be pretty useful. Uh, but yeah, that is all I wanted to say about this card. Uh, definitely recommend getting at least one dual max copy for this card. Even though it is not utility, it is a pretty good booster card. And if you have an extra space in your team slot, it is definitely worth considering adding this card to that team because of the boosts and also this cooldown reduction for your cards, which is always really nice to have. Man, that's all I wanted to say about this card. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything or if I said anything wrong. And as always, stay tuned on my YouTube channel for more Tower of Saviors content. For now, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.